Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm going to show you how I used the custom color palettes and the color cubes by Sarah Renee Clark to add custom colors into the Silhouette Studio software. You can create your own custom palettes, and these cards are perfect, especially for someone like me who cannot match colors for their life. So I'm going to use those in the Silhouette software. I have this design that I've already set up I'm making bookmarks and I'm opening the fill color panel. And then you can choose your custom colors and here is where you would enter your name for your custom palette. So I am going to type in the name of the um, color card so I know what it is named and which where I pulled those colors from. And then I'm going to use the hex code that is on the cards and I'm going to enter the numbers at the bottom of this fill color panel. So now I have this new palette that I have named. I'm going to come down to the bottom, highlight everything, and I'm going to type the number. The main thing here is you need to have the object selected that you are going to fill with that color. So I typed in the hex code number and then I hit enter to fill it. Now here is where you want to make sure you select the next object before you enter the new number for the next color. I was getting um, not paying attention when I was doing the video, so you see it changed on the screen here. So I have now my second color, but I can simply come back in, select that, undo. My custom color palette still stays there, and I can select the second green color that I chose. Come down to the bottom hex number again, and I'm going to enter that as well. Click the little drop down there and you can get a few more options as well, but I have the hex number, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to continue adding to this custom palette. And it, as the more you do this, the faster you will get at it or the better you'll get at placing this. So I'm going to fill the entire um, design on the left-hand side with this particular custom color palette. And I'm going to try to strategically place all these colors around and make a design with this bookmark. Now I can be indecisive when I am designing, so I'm going to skip ahead and I have filled all of the colors on the left hand side with this particular custom palette for the colors that were on the card from the color cube. And then I'm just positioning these arrows, each one is an individual piece, just to kind of space them out and fill up that design. I'm gonna to go to the next card and I'm going to type in the number and name for that card and then begin to add my custom colors for that. You can right click and choose delete if you do accidentally add one that you do not want to add in there. I had added the hash marks and that's just trans transparent. I don't need that. So I'm going to continue to um, select the different arrows on the design. And the second time I was a little bit quicker and just and did it more strategically in working from the top to the bottom so that I could work with this color palette and not have all those colors that um, were, you know, bouncing back and forth across the entire design. So I am just adding each of these fill colors. And then I have this custom palettes built that I could go back into and I have more options than just the generic basic colors that you see under the fill color panel there in the Silhouette Studio software. Now, something to note here is that these color palettes are saved to your computer. They are not synced to your Silhouette account or your library. You would have to go in and find the particular preferences folder that they are saved to, copy that, and then move it to a new computer if you wanted to do that, or you can simply start again and make those color palettes. Now I have the entire design filled magically. It happened over time. It took me a while to design this and um, create with it. The, the design process is a little bit different for everybody. It takes me a while to do the design part of it. I pulled in a um, saying to go on top of it and then I'm gonna create an offset and I'm going to fill this offset with white and then that is going to sit on top of it. Now I included this part in the video because I wanted to make a distinction between the kind of the top sentiment and then the background. So here I've included the um, little bits and parts of adding the sentiment in there in my design process. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
come in, I selected all the colors and I decreased the transparency of those colors. So it gives it kind of a muted color background for this design. And I wanted to include that in as well. So when you go to the final photos, you'll see why the colors aren't as bright on the screen as the original design. And I want you to have questions about that. If you do have questions about the custom color palettes, please leave those in the comments below. If you would like to see a full video tutorial, let me know in the comments below and I can do this step by step. I have all the video, I just have to edit it and do the voicing for that for how I created these bookmarks. I did do print and cut with the Silhouette Electrostatic Bed with a holographic overlay on top of these. I decided I wanted smaller bookmarks once I had this whole design, so I then made them the size that I wanted and I could fit four to a page. So here's a look at magic and there's the four to a page. Uh, again, I was trying other designs that I like to fill pages when I do a print and cut rather than just have empty space. So I was playing around with some other designs. You see Bosch the cat sitting over there. Um, that is a design by Sarah Hurley. So then I save the file when I am done. I save all along the way. Here is a look at those finished bookmarks for the design and with the holographic overlay, they turned out fabulous. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.